Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video will be talking about hypoventilation and hyperventilation. So hypoventilation is when we have delivery of air to the alveoli of the lungs which is going to be insufficient to meet what the body requires in terms of getting rid of oxygen and removing carbon dioxide. This results in a decreased rate of breathing and a decreased depth of breathing as well. So it also results in increased levels of carbon dioxide to the levels of 45 millimeters of mercury and it also results in high hypoxemia which is where we have low levels of oxygen in the blood and that's going to be due to high levels of alveolar carbon dioxide displacing oxygen in the alveoli. So the symptoms of hypoventilation is going to be breathlessness and chest tightness and it's also a form of respiratory distress as well. So the causes of hypoventilation are going to be drugs like morphine and barbiturates which depress the respiratory system. Other causes can be obesity, obstructive sleep apnea and paralysis of respiratory muscles. So now we can move on to hyperventilation which is where we have increase in the amount of air entering the alveoli resulting in reduced levels of carbon dioxide in the blood. And this is known as hypocapnia. When peripheral chemoreceptors are, st are stimulated by hypoxia, we have hyperventilation. Symptoms of hyperventilation are shortness of breath, which is going to be approximately 25 to 40 breaths per minute, lightheadedness and, and a rapid heartbeat. The causes of hyperventilation can be through pain, fever or anxiety, and less common causes of hyperventilation is obstructive lung diseases, restrictive lung diseases, sepsis and brainstem damage.